Okay, my Miss Tonita nudge bar I got right here. So this I just got installed today at Madness Auto Works Fiat in Signal Hill, California. Okay, I had been wanting one of these for a long time. So originally I had ordered the one without the, I guess you can call it like the center cross member, I guess. And they called me up and said, well, it's going to be a, a lead time of a month or so. We have one in the shop. If you want, we can get you in early to get it installed. Of course, that's this one right here. And originally, I just wanted it with kind of that open, open, clean look. So I thought about it, and I finally said, okay, I'll just go get it. I'll just go get it. So at first, I thought it was going to be a compromise, but looking at it now... I am liking what I see. So, it does sit a little bit low to the ground, so uh, it's around the same. Let me see. It's around the same as the flaps, so not too, not too bad. But the approach angle, I guess you can say, is a lot less because I just got to change my driving a little bit more. So taking speed bumps a lot slower. Oh, excuse me. And giving myself extra space in, in front. But overall, very, very cool. Of course, you can see it's suspended. Oh, let me see. So I can give you an underneath of the body assembly. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah, the hood is hot. Okay, same thing right, right under there. There we go. Of course, they had to relocate the license plate to the top of the the trim. So there's one hole right there, another hole right there. And I would imagine these right here is if the bumper or the nudge bar does contact this. It's got those little soft rubber bumpers. But overall, a very cool, very cool unit. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty thick gauge steel. Not bad at all. I am liking it. And that is my Miss Tonita, I guess you can call it, 4x4 four four designed in Italy. I believe this is the V2 model. Yeah. The V1 is the one I'd ordered that didn't come in, but this is not a compromise. That is for sure. This is not a compromise.